Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I get asked questions a lot, and I get the same questions a lot. So rather than have to repeat myself multiple times, I thought we'd do a video every time we get a question that's repeated. And the question is, start with a four or four and a half smoother. And I've always said if you're an adult male, you weigh over 150 pounds, have a medium to a large hand, go with a four and a half. It's going to fit you a lot better than the four. And my line of thinking on that is the fours really is made for adolescents. If you think about where fours showed up, they were in public schools and public shops and junior high school. Kids in grade seven, eight, and nine, they obviously match the planes for that age bracket. Now, if you don't do any woodworking from then until the time you're in your 40s and you decide to get back into it and you go looking for a plane, what are you going to do? You're going to go back to the plane that you knew, which is either a number four or a number five. And by the way, that's a different story but I always recommend the five and a half over the five. So I thought what we'd do is go through and, and compare a few. These are two original Stanleys, a four and a four and a half, and these are two Wood Rivers, a four and a four and a half. Before you hammer me with comments, yes, I sell the Wood Rivers, but I'm not making a recommendation that is specific to Wood, Wood River. That's why we're going to check it on the Stanleys as well. So let's, measure, let's uh, weigh them first. I've got a really pretty accurate scale. So the number four Stanley comes in at 158 grams. I wonder if we could change that to, uh, no, not milliliters. So we can get that to ounces there. So 3.83 pounds, eight ounces. Now I'm gonna compare the uh, Wood River, number four. Wow, five pounds, 1.1 ounce, quite a bit heavier. Uh, compare, uh, try the old Stanley four and a half. Comes in at four, four pounds, 12, almost 13 ounces. Check this one again. So more than a pound heavier. Uh, I always like heavier plane. And then if we try the Wood River four and a half. It's six pounds, one ounce. So considerably heavier, the castings are a lot thicker. Now the length, and really your planes are, their function is determined on, based on their length. So that four and a half is 10 and a quarter inches tip to tip, and the four is nine and almost three quarters. So they're almost the same length. So in terms of the function that they're gonna perform, it's not gonna vary. I'll just check these and see how they're looking like nine and seven eighths, which I think is exactly the same as what the four was and 10 and 3 eighths, eighth of an inch longer. So no difference in their actual function. Now what I mean by that is this. If you tried to flatten a workbench with a smoother, the smoother is simply going to do this. It's gonna follow any bumps and the hills and valleys. It'll leave the surface nice and smooth, but because the short sole, it's not gonna bridge between two high points. That's gonna be left up to you, which is extremely difficult. And you want to do a job like that, you wanna reach with a number seven or number eight, which will reference off the high points, bring them down to one level. So your smoother is the one that you're just gonna go in and smooth, get your final finish from. Now, uh, a couple of the other differences. If you turn them over, you've got a two and three eighths inch wide blade on the four and a half, and a two inch wide blade on the number four. So for the same, function, why not have a wider footprint, which is going to give you a more stable, or it's going to be more stable in use, and you're, you're cutting an extra three-eighths of an inch. Now, some people think that means it's going to be harder to push. Well, if you learn how to sharpen, you won't even notice it. The other big thing is the amount of space that you have here on what's called the rear tote. So that's comfortable for my hand. That is very uncomfortable. My, my, I'm, I'm squeezed to get my hand in there. And I was just curious to see if they made any changes with the Wood River or a modern plane over the originals. So if I use that one, the four and a half, that's very comfortable. And that's not so bad, not, not quite as cramped as that one, but it definitely is smaller. You'll also notice they had a toe screw typically on the four and a half, and they didn't have a toe screw on the four. There's a little point down there that's actually cast right into the, uh, or it's part of the casting and it fits in a little notch to keep that from swiveling. It's actually loose right now. Now on this one they had a toe screw on both so that's why I thought maybe they were the same size but they're not. This one is definitely smaller. So if you are an adult male and you're looking for a good smoother I would say go with a four and a half whether you buy a Lee Nelson four and a half, a Wood River four and a half or whoever else makes a four and a half. You're going to find it's going to be a lot more comfortable for your large hand. If you're a small person, female, then look for a number four. But remember their job is to smooth, not to flatten. Hope this helps.